What's going on guys, Magnolia Mo here and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you a very easy and a very basic technique to set speaker crossovers. So we all have an auto setup routine built into our processors and receivers, right? Whether it's Anthem, uh, Arc, or whether it's Direct Live, whether it's Odyssey, whether it's WIPOW, uh, we just go with what the crossover settings are that the the, the auto setup is returning, right? Uh, others will question it. Uh, they, you know, like me, I'll I'll say you know, no way my fronts go to 40 hertz, down to 40 hertz. Uh, they're just bookshelf speakers. I'm gonna set it to 80 hertz, or I start looking at the manufacturers specifications and set up my crossovers based on their plus minus 3 dB um, you know a frequency response rate right, as to the lowest base possible in that speaker uh, others will use REW which I did as well I used REW for my bed layer speakers after doing all of that I said you know let me give the spatial audio calibration toolkit a try right there is a crossover point section in here which is so easy to use um, all you do is just listen to the, the, the tones as the, the frequencies are going down from 250 hertz down to 16 hertz. And where, you know, you stop hearing or hearing the bass is essentially where the cutoff point would be, right? As explained uh, to us by Technodad in his video. What I did was I went a step further. I used an SPL meter in conjunction with this particular disc and anytime the frequency response or the bass fell off by by more than 10 dBs that's where I essentially set my crossover points right so it is very easy so before you guys move on to the next video and and um, and shut off this video uh, you know I just want you to just Take a, a, a quick watch of this. It's very easy, it's so basic, and it's the most effective way that you can validate or even set up your crossover points using this particular disc. This is the best invention, in my opinion, uh, in the Dolby Atmos era, where you can actually use a disc to uh, determine what the crossover points are for your height speakers, right? Uh, I've used Avia before, which only the, focuses on your bed layer speakers. I have other discs that only focus on bed layer speakers, right? Nothing that's out there that will, that will actually give you uh, precise crossover points for your height speakers, all right? So let's go, let's get on with it right now. Okay, so here is the Marantz AV8805. What we wanna do first is just check where we are at, right? So I used REW to come up with these crossover points previously, right? And you can refer to that video. I'm gonna leave a link in the description and a card here as well. Uh, so my um, setup previously using our REW yielded 48 hertz for the fronts, 80 hertz for the center, 110 hertz for the surrounds, 80 hertz for the back surrounds, um, actually, when I ran the Odyssey, Odyssey came up with the 124, the M1s, the top middle and the rear height, uh, Odyssey had come up with 40, I had switched it to, to 110 hertz just because I didn't want that much bass going through them. So in this video, I'm going to use the Spatial Audio Calibration Toolkit to figure out what is the the best crossover point for these three speakers, right? So in order to do that, first thing you need to do is go into your speaker configuration tab. You need to remove the subwoofers, right? Because what we want to do is run our speakers full range. The front speakers uh, obviously will switch to large just because we took out the subwoofer, but these are the speakers that we can, are concerned about. So I'm going to turn them into large. All right, now that they're large, now let's go into, um, back into our crossovers. When you do that, look at this, they already changed to full band, right, in the crossover menu. Um, wanna make sure nothing else is going on. You know, this needs to be just set at default. You don't wanna do any double bass settings in here, so just leave it at 250 hertz as your low pass for LFE. Uh, and just subwoofer mode should just be LFE. Um, and that is basically it. But now we're gonna go ahead and run the frequency sweeps using the spatial audio calibration toolkit. So we're gonna start with the front left and, uh, and we're gonna look for the frequency, you know, where it starts to roll off, right? Um, 
So we're gonna start with 250 hertz, it's gonna go all the way down to 16 hertz. And the idea is to look for where the frequency starts to, to drop off more than 10 dB. 200, 160, 125, 100, 80, 63, 50, 40, 30. Yeah, so 32 is where it, it, it fell off. So I have it set at uh, 40 hertz uh, correctly for the front uh, left and right. All right, so let's go to front height right. 200, 160, 125, 100, there you go. 80 hertz is where it starts to drop off. Okay, so we're gonna wait for it to come back up. 40, nothing. 50, a little bit. 63, a little bit. 80 a little bit, there you go, 100. So 100, I have it at 110, which is uh, the right crossover then, that essentially Odyssey uh, came up with for the front heights, all right? So now, top middles, Odyssey set them up at 40 hertz. And I've always kind of wondered, they don't go, those are the CCM 663s, they do not go down to uh, 40 hertz. So let's, uh, this is, let's put the spatial audio calibration toolkit to the test here. Here it goes, middle height right. 250, 200, 160, 100, 80, 63, 50, wow, 40. So it, start, it starts to roll off at around 40. So Odyssey may have been right. <laughs> so that is kind of odd that they go down that low. So it's gonna start to come back up now again, 20 Hertz, 25 Hertz, 32. I can hear Bailey at 40, 50, there you go, 63. Okay, so I need to update my uh, my crossovers then for CCM 663s. That is that is very very odd that these speakers go down that low, but it is what it is. So I have it set at uh, 110. I'm gonna go down on those to about 80 hertz. I'm not gonna go. I'm not gonna go crazy to, to go to 50. So while we're here we are actually going to try this LFE over here and see how deep my uh, the two combined subwoofers you know the output that they produce here so let's uh, I'm going to increase the volume just a little bit I reserve the right to lower the volume at any point here Oh, here we go, 100, 80, 63, 50, 40. <laughs> so 16 hertz, it was there. I, I can hear uh, things rattling here. I think it's the screens outside in the windows. I will lower the volume now. So there you have it. It's very easy. It's very basic. What I didn't show was my rear heights, which also came to about uh, the the 40 hertz crossover point. But I am going to set my um, top middle and my rear heights 
at 80 hertz and my front heights were exactly at 120 as what Odyssey had come up with. So the bottom line here is if you take the time and if you are judicious right, with your Odyssey measurements, it is going to produce accurate results as far as speaker crossover points are concerned, distances are concerned, and speaker levels are concerned. Sure, sure, you're going to have to tweak it a little bit. Uh, and if you're an expert in REW, you can tweak it a, uh, you know, quite a bit more than, uh, than what Odyssey will produce, right? So I hope you guys like this video. And as usual, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one.